Mainstream culture only allows sex work to be normalized whenever it's profitable. Now, the banks could have told OnlyFans from the jump that they don't want any explicit or adult content on their site if they're going to be working with them as a vendor. But they decided to wait until they made an ungodly amount of money from sex workers and their content and their hard work to then pull the carpet out from underneath them and fuck them. And sin clauses with banks are a real thing, so it's not like OnlyFans had no idea this could ever be a possibility. These men became millionaires because they launched a platform that was focused on sex work and promoting sex work to be hosted on it. Then they pushed really hard for referral links so they can get as many nude women on there as possible. And then they let promotions run wild of women talking to young teenage girls, telling them to sign up as soon as they turn 18 because they're going to make so much money, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Now I got two reasons why I wanted to talk about this story. One being that big business needs to learn that people love them some spicy content and that it actually brings in the money. Do y'all remember when Yahoo bought Tumblr for 1.1 billion dollars and then decided to ban porn? Well, six years after doing that, Tumblr got sold again for less than three million dollars. People love their spicy content.